while we were waiting for crops to dry down, we helped Carl out for a couple days starting on a cattle barn and feeder. We also put up a fence to split the middle of a pivot. So we made a line with the tractor with GPS. Then we went along and dug trenches where the pivot wheels went across so that we could run a wire under the ground where the pivot track is to bring the electric for the electric fence uh, across where the pivot drives. Then we drilled holes on either side, pounded posts in, and then put whips on the posts so that when the pivot goes through, it pushes the whip out of the way, but when cows try and walk through, they get shocked. And then we put up single strand barbed wire for the rest of the T posts. moved all 1,560 buckets into the church, but more on that later. Well, this is the last you'll see this trailer like this. I think tomorrow we're going to start ripping everything behind this wall out and redoing it. Currently, got two beds here, and then the bathroom, and then two more bunks back here, some storage. The trouble is that somebody's using the bathroom and you're back here you're kind of stuck so we're gonna rip everything out the front was done already the front was ripped out and spray foamed put back together but we're gonna rip everything out behind that wall spray foam it and then those two bunks are gonna come back about there and then there's gonna be two these two are gonna move right behind them and then I think the shower is gonna go there sink toilet and the water heater will be here somewhere. Shelves along this side. I don't know if that door is staying there or not. We're going to fix it because apparently it doesn't work right now. I don't know. We didn't use it all summer. But I think we're going to try and put screen doors in front and back. Washer and dryer staying here. All this is staying how it is. But going to spray foam it. All new electrical. Rebuild everything.
really hard to film, but there was an eclipse at one point. We were only in about 75% totality, but it was still pretty neat. You figuring it out again? I can't. Oh, wow. It'll probably... There's a little skin. They were harvesting peanuts, and I managed to get some from a local farmer. The shovel was all broke up, so Dwayne had me weld it back together. So I got it welded up and sharpened it. Should be ready to go. Well, this is what, my third attempt now at making cornbread? I liked Ronnie and Brittany's oven, mini oven thing so much, I had to get my own, so there we go. But I used a different recipe that has flour, like normal flour, and some other stuff in. The last one just had cornmeal. And it turned out a lot better. It's not as dense. But, yeah. I'm getting there. Good at it. Won't take long to zip them together. So you still bolt an angle to the frame that, like you would, yeah. anyways, and you just bring the U bolt down into that. Angle. There's four clamps right here. Grind it up a little bit. And well.
major props to this guy for giving us room. Just stopped here at Eakley to get diesel because I didn't think I'd have enough to get down to Carnegie and back. I think this is the slowest diesel pump in the country. We'll get there eventually. 15 minutes to fill it up. 14 I guess. For some reason I have a feeling they're all in cotton on this road. I believe that's where the cost is going. Under that, uh... I and mean, they don't even have to be attached on the ends. You just hold them up, screw them down to each side. It just ties it together. <laughs> Thank you. 
for some reason I got it in my head to buy a Lincoln Vantage 300 welder from a junkyard for $1,000. These welders are known to have the boards go out in them, and this one already had both of the boards missing, and it would be about $2,500 to put them back in. So I'm not sure what I'm doing with it yet. I doubt I'll put the boards back in, but it should be a good Kubota 1505 for something. It has 5,000 hours on it and seems to run pretty good. <laughs> got his cut off today. He's gonna put it under his cab over length of the thing like nine feet. So it'll be interesting. We moved the crew trailer up here. Well we'll move the screw trailer I guess to help keep the lines from freezing. The tires flat this morning when I checked them. New tire acquired. <laughs> There's Jace. This bracket here that had been bolted up here held the water filter on. Went and broke on me this morning. Or, I mean, it broke yesterday. I found it this morning, so gotta weld that up quick. There we go, weld it up. Just gotta like that. And now I can bolt my filter on. If that's even possible one handed. Cool. Not sure what happened, but I just got back to the field here, and the pickup's gone, and the combine's sitting here, looking like that. So something decently major went wrong. I don't know if a bolt came out. But... My truck is filthy. I feel a little bit better about that at least. Maybe you should have dumped a little bit on the bottom of your truck.
Here's a new lug versus a used one. So what is that, half inch shorter? Just doesn't grab a hold of the crop as well anymore. Kent brought a tractor over that he had put a quick hitch on a number of years ago. He wanted to take the quick hitch off to sell the tractor, but it was now thoroughly attached. So we spent a bit of time trying to get this pin out. It might be too bouncy. It is, a little bit. Am I having a bar in there? Well, the, the three-point moves back and forth too much. Well, that's why I was, got used to hold it over against. You're not going to miss, right, Ronnie? I'm not going to promise that. I just cannot give it all I want. Well, it felt like it moved. I had gauge rolls front and back, and so it basically would roll over terraces. Try to knock it through some more. You want to cut that head off? I don't care. I mean, we've got to get a pin around. So it's I don't like, know it that. Doesn't matter me. I mean, you can't turn it anyway. Maybe when you got it out, some you could. But I sort of feel like this end might be. Fun. Are you ambidextrous, Chase? Much hammering later. You want me to cut that off, Ronnie? Uh, I don't know. Because you don't want to flip it off. That didn't end up working. Are we actually going to go now? Or is Got it her gonna, sticking out a half inch. Is it going to get a spot where it it's stops again? There it goes. Oh, good grief. Look at that thing go. Stand back because I'm going to throw that as far as I can throw. My dad did that with a ratchet one time. <laughs> Terrell did that with a staple gun one time. <laughs> Oh, it was a ratchet that when you put pressure on it, it give, and it gave, and busted his knuckles, and I immediately ran back through that ratchet as far as he could. Your dad? Did he throw pretty more? <laughs> he was a baseball player. Ronnie? Jace knocked that thing out like it wasn't even there. Not the straightest, but there we go.
on Dwayne's kerosene heater here. The thing would spark, but it wouldn't actually light up. So I found out the trouble was this hose that broke that goes down under here. So the way this works, this is a pump. Pumps puts pressure in this hose, and then it there's a venturi here that'll suck fuel out of the tank. So just replace the hose, and now it works good. <laughs> that they use for harvesting peppers. They're highly modified. I think the front is pretty much the same. They use these um, row crop heads. The guts of these things is all different. So we've got this like rack. Wow, that's loud. got this whole row of spinning squares, it seems like, driven by the hydraulic motor over there. The front looks about the same. I'm not sure if they did anything to the cylinder or not. Looks like we got some rebar welded onto the augers, whatever that does. Straw walkers are, walkers are all going. Um, over on this side, we got a fan that it looks like it just blows it out there and they don't have any storage capacity so you must have to have something underneath it all the time there's three of them sitting here I'm pretty sure they have a fourth one somewhere they use them for harvesting crazy hot peppers like pepper spray, bear spray, whatever you call the stuff wonderful piece of farmer engineering Got some new airbags in.
government regulations. That's fine. Okay then. Well, it was that part's not the T. That part clips onto the T. Oh, connect you to the clips onto oh, the T. Okay. Well, can we get that off? It's like automatic transmission. Uh, can we get that off so we can take we, it along? We got a little tool deal. I don't. So we can go from get it, go get it. We should Monday be morning. able to. We don't need it should any. Should be line. the same thing because it's a five eight line, right? Yeah. Thank you. 